Hey guys, the MD12 here, and we are going to be reacting to the new Smash Ultimate Direct that came out. I am so excited for this, but first I need to say some stuff. I'm working on a huge project, and I'll go more in depth on this. Um, I'm doing a video tomorrow, a channel update, and I'll talk about it more there, but I have a huge project that I'm working on. I'm really excited for it. Uh, you guys should look forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm really excited for that. So make sure you watch tomorrow's video for that. I'm very excited for it. And I'm very excited to share it with you guys when it's ready, which will be a while. But before we start the video, I want to go through some predictions. So obviously they're going to talk about that spirits mode or the mysterious new mode that they talked about in the last direct they're obviously going to be talking about that and as you can see wearing my Majora's Mask shirt I still have hope for Skull Kid I still have hope uh, uh, I think I know one of the characters that's going to be revealed in this I think I got spoiled that Incineroar is going to be a new character because um, I was walking past my friend during lunch, and he was watching it, and for a split second, out of the corner of my eye, I think I saw Incineroar, and then I asked him if anything lit happened, and then he was like, Te and he was like, technically, yes, and I was like, are you kidding me? So, I'm pretty sure Incineroar is gonna get revealed here, but... Let's just get going. Let's just get going. I'm, I'm excited. I've been waiting this for for that. Uh, I've been waiting for this forever. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, this is too laggy. I can't watch this. No, stop. Stop it right now. Stop it. Oh no. I'm not gonna be able to watch this. It's too laggy. Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this. I need to see if anything else is open. Nothing else is open. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I changed the screen quality? Maybe that'll make it run better. I have the screen recording thing going on. That's probably a thing that's helping it go so laggy. Okay. Okay. This will have to do. I'll have to do. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Let's go! Hello, Hello Sakurai. This is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Oh, Smash you Smash know Smash. it is! So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, 74 uh, if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Our entire team has worked really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's, let's do this. go! Wait, let's do this. Let's do. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's Incineroar. It's Incineroar. Oh my goodness, it's Incineroar. No, it's not! Bring it on. Oh my god, the leak was real! Oh! The leak was real, boys! Oh! I don't even know who this is, and I'm excited. Well, I mean, obviously he's from Street Fighter, but... Who? Okay, I know this is really, really laggy, but it's still watchable. Wait a minute! What was that? Was that Incineroar? What were those eyes? 
It's a zero. Pull up, pull up. It's a zero. Roar. Yes. Oh. This was my starter in Sun and Moon. Yo! Oh! So, fight fire with fire, huh? Oh! Oh! I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh my goodness! Oh! I even knew he was gonna be here. And this is exciting. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> more, more, more. More? Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. Hailing from the Street Oh my Center, god. Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Uh yeah, he does. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. <laughs> but let's get back to Ken. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's cool. how he'll I've never played a Street Fighter Ryu. game. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadoken is different too. Cool. And his Tatsumaki Senpukyaku strikes opponents multiple times. Hell Wheel. Hey, they said heck. Focus attack. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. What? First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Two? Two. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shibu Jin Raikek. Two. Incineroar, let's go. Last new challenger, Incineroar. Last new challenger? It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Nice. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. Yep. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. It movies. is. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy Ooh. to self-destruct. So be Ooh, I'm definitely gonna For be killing myself special, with that a lot. Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too, I'm early, usually good you'll at do a back time stuff break. like that. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. I'm usually good at those kind of timed things. It's I'm really good at fighting guardians in Breath of the Wild, so. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. Obviously. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. The roster has been revealed. we finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is Wait. the initial fighter select screen. Ooh. There aren't very many at first, but it Ooh. is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. That is true. And once you've unlocked them all, Oh my goodness. It'll look like this. Jeez. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number in the order they joined the series. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all seven. They're, they're, they're gonna announce the DLC. 
They're going to announce DLC like they did with Mewtwo. They announced him before the GameCube came out. Oh, the, oh. Okay. Ridley. Nice. Wolf. Okay, okay. Ken. There's gonna be Ken, obviously. What? Huh? You may recall that we're creating Amiibo in parallel with the game. Yeah. Here's oh, there's Ken. The Amiibo figure. Let me, let me, let me see, let me see, uh, let me see Incineroar. Let me see Incineroar. What about Incineroar? We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Mm. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. How is that? Here's what we came up with. They're called spirits. It is spirits mode! And I don't mean the spooky kind. What? To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. Super Smash Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is Whoa. a spirit. Fighters can join forces <laughs> the moon. With to enhance their powers. Whoa. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. Yo! That's so cool! There are several classes of spirits. Ooh, Dry Bowser. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title Advanced. Especially strong ones are called Aces. And some are in a league of their own. Legend. Cool. One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. Nice. In some cases, these augmented oh, fighters become Yuga. extremely powerful. Of the birds, the If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. This is getting too complicated. Hey, Cappy, this is getting too complicated. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. Spirit battles. The main way to acquire spirits is to win Rivali. spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda oh, sorta God. similar to the opposing spirit. Nice. Okay. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa in a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's oh, riding the Koopa Clown Car. I get it. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. Gordo. Again, makes sense. Valley of Gorda. Whoa! 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 That seems overpowered. Don't know who that is. Oversized punch shop. Oh. Well, okay then. Again, don't know who that is. Don't play. I like, don't play Final Fantasy. No, not poor Isabel. Oh wait, taunting at every opportunity, killing Edge in hand. Be imprisoned? No. Gear him guards while a beast looms behind him. Oh. I don't know who these people are. Oh, with a flower blooming on your hand.
okay. But those people. Three hedgehogs try to. Oh. Um, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Who the heck is that? Oh, it says that what series are from there, Metal Gear. But I have no idea who that is. Okay, a doctor dodges protected by a jump. Huh. Bullet Bill. Uh, the opponent shoots across the screen as a bullet bill. Okay. This all seems super complicated. Hey, Mimikyu! Hit the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Oh, that's how you get that. That's cool. Even if you accidentally hit the guardian, shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Cool. Nice. Primary spirits have strength based on attack. Their type. Grab shield. Attack is strong against grab. grab oh, so it's like rock paper shield, scissors. And shield is strong against attack. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. This, this is getting so complicated. Raise your spirit. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Nice. Or you can feed it snacks. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only oh. by leveling them up. Rip Diddy, uh, Rip you Dixie can also send spirits orders. back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these oh. cores, you can summon a new spirit. So it's like I don't want you to give me a new one, basically. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These seem like unlikely teams of characters. This is getting so complicated. Could be somebody's dream come true. Hey, the great zapfish. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. I'm just Certain overwhelmed. I don't know what's masters. happening. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Of course they can. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process oh. multiple times. It's one great big collection of characters from many different series. But just how many would you guess there are? A billion. Final smash. Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Oh. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Okay. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. I still have no idea what this means. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger hey, spirit teams make guys. it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, Press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits also who can help out with certain supports. conditions. Keep that in mind. Hey, Medley! You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. Or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. What was that one that Rosalina had? 
The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless or take the fight to the world with online play. Obviously. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, <coughs> press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, wow. matchmaking is based on three factors. Preferred rules. For online battles, you can okay. set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. Okay. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Again, makes sense. Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. So a high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Oh, so it's Your like... GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning okay. for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. I'm confused again. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected. So please don't do that. So please don't do that. <laughs> As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. How much longer does this have? Once your global smash power is high, we're not even halfway done. How is this possible? How is Sakurai when you done reach this? this level, feel free to pat Ooh. yourself on the back. You're good. Period. Ooh. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. Cool. If you oh, beat like a fellow that. player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more Wait, tags what? as you win. Try to collect lots oh. of smash tags. Oh, so it's saying who all you beat. That's cool. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. So it's like Splatoon. Let's choose from a wide let's selection smash of again. <laughs> Wait, let's smash again. <laughs> after you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes oh my God. for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking Ooh. runs in the background. Let's but you smash can it again. Enter some game modes. I wasn't paying attention to that. I get spectator mode. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be oh yeah, apparently I heard this. This gets system. crazy really fast. Like, really fast, it gets crazy. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. That's cool. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. A phone! With the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. Nice. It may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming free? it Smash World. Cool. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, oh, and more. Cool. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. That's cool. 
I hope it doesn't turn into another Meverse incident. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which game? Nightmare! Cool! Oh, 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 wait! Oh, it's just showing off more cis trophies. Who is that? Made in okay, Fatal Frame. What the heck? So that freezes you? Okay, so new assist trophies, let's go. Isaac, oh, rest in peace! Oh no! Here I go. Black. Oh no! They're just killing everyone's hopes and dreams right now. Know your place. What? Oh. Spring it! No! No! Oh no! I wanted him as a character! Oh man. I'm assuming that's the bad guy yet from the menu series. Fly's hand. Oh, don't even, don't even remind me of, of my Mario Maker days trying to get the Mario Maker costume. I hated that minigame. I don't know who that is. Another Fire Emblem person. Yep. Hey, I know that guy! I have that, I have, I have that. I have that game. Yeah, or I have one of them. A series? Don't know who that is. Punch out, I'm assuming? From this music? Oh, Street Fighter, never mind. What am I saying? Punch out? That was nothing. Oh, what? What the heck? The total okay. number of assist trophies is now 59. 59. Wow. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Wow! Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to uh, the player. Okay. Other features. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. Let's go. If you want to review the controls or game mode, Press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Actually, I probably will need that. I am not good at Smash. Century, Century Smash, Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels oh. great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? You can play on many different stages, and you can choose the music too. Cool. I like that. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode, but now you can play it right out of the box. Nice. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. You can save the replay data of your battles. Cool. And now you can create can videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks uh, you see yeah, during I'm loading screen. Read that. I'm not this game when like viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Challenges. Complete challenges oh, to earn rewards. Cool. This time, each page is sorted by category, oh, and the layout looks me. more like a comic book. Press like the button that. to check out That's each cool. picture. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy, and he's. The records menu tracks your oh, battle history. Why? There are five different options. Okay. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Cool, cool. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. That's cool. 
Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. Oh, that's cool. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want instead of just relying on challenges. Option. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This music is really good. Language support. This one game supports 11 languages. 11 languages? I know this is very important to some of you. That's gotta For be example, like all the languages. The voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. The fighter names are also specific to each language. Dorp 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 Highly requested and well worth the effort. Brightness and sound. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. Oh, that's hand. That's helpful. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, yeah, including size. That. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. Oh, that's... Oh, that's actually really helpful. If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Obviously, but that's cool. You can customize your Mii fighters and change their outfits. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. Speaking of Mii fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. New outfits where more dreams get crushed. Whoa! Oh, I like that. Watching two set. Cool, cool. Ribbon girl set. Chippy Robo! A labo? Oh my god! That's perfect! Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. DLC! DLC! Oh my god! Okay! Who? But there are even more coming post-launch. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the yeah. opportunity open to add in more fighters yeah. as paid DLC. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage and multiple music tracks. The price for each set is expected to be five ninety nine. Okay. At the same time, we will offer the fighters pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. When creating something like the fighters pass, ideally we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. Again, the price is $24.99 for all five sets. Now that we've finally confirmed the development That's of this DLC, like, please know that we'll be working really hard okay, it's on like, it. So it's like you're buying six for the price of five. 
I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. Nope. By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. It's a me sword fighter oh, outfit based on peace. Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Rest in peace. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaara Plains sometime. Other okay. Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. Okay. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates, but we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. It Again, may take around sense. a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. God, but, on a separate sense. note, Limited time offer? We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Let's see the special sneak peek. Okay, they're all busy. Oh, that was menacing. What? <laughs> what? Ooh, oh, that was a mega voice crack. What the heck? <laughs> what? Piranha plant? Piranha plant? As a playable character? What am I watching right now? What am I watching? Piranha Plant as a playable character. <laughs> what? What the heck? That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. What the and heck? not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. What is this it game? It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, <laughs> what is and perform this game? long range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. What is this Remember, game? Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. Again, makes sense. It has sense. a nice curved form to it. What is this game? Piranha Plant. Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. Piranha Plant! I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Ooh, I'm in North America. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next, and more. I'll definitely do that. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Are you sure the game about launches. that? But before we go, I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the subspace emissary. Adventure mode? That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Adventure mode? What? Don't let a single one get away! Oh, that's cool. Whoa! What the heck is that? We'll each 
much need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. What the heck? What the heck is happening? What is going on? What is happening? No! Was that uh, what was that? I don't I don't have words. I do I I don't I don't know what to say. What was that? I can I can't even say anything. I don't I guess I I hope you all enjoyed. I, I wish I could talk about what just happened, but I don't have words. Jeez. So, uh, I guess please like and subscribe if you haven't already.
uh, make sure you tune in to next episode to see my big announcement. But or for I'm or for me to talk about my big announcement. But yeah, I hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. I I still don't have words as I'm editing this. So bye.